Hey, welcome back, old Project Mockingbird here. We're doing a bunch of plug wells on this car here. You guys are kind of curious how I was doing it. I got you a little video check out here. I got a little more detail on how we get right, that done. Need, this is going to be our test mule. I'm going to use a little bench vise here and pretend this is a piece on the car. Use this for visibility so you get the camera so you can really see what I'm doing and how it's done. I'm um, going to need some kind of a drill. We got a drill holes and set self tappers. Um, the drill I use that for doing both. I just kind of change out the chuck, but uh, like however you want to do it. But anyway, here's what I got. I got a longer one here to reach around, like say the rocker panel. You can't quite get the drill to fit. Well, that's what this is for, so I can reach past some of the panels or like say a fender well. I got a shorty in case you got a restriction area that's kind of tight to get into. So I kind of keep those in my little bin of goodies. And a quarter inch diameter drill bit is pretty much spot on. A little smaller, it's kind of tough to feed the wire, and I'll show you here why and bigger well i think you're wasting wire and chance of burning through so all my trial and errors about a quarter inch seems to work about the best so gonna need a bunch of screws a drill bit a couple nut drivers and a drill you can do this at home and of course you need a welder i got this good old eastwood mig 175 had this thing longer than my kids have been alive and this thing just keeps a licking and just keeps on ticking so to speak but i'll show you how it's set up here uh as we get, get your welder maybe set up closer accordingly so you can do the same right, thing well, let's get started the base metal here let's pretend that's like a rocker panel it's about a 14 gauge that's a pretty decent gauge metal and most of your sheet metal is 19 gauge on these cars i guess some 22 gauge too because we're going to do not just two layers well together we're going to sandwich three layers similar to what like a rocker panel will be in some other areas of the vehicle where you're going to do multiple layers uh, first off of course just go ahead and get your piece laid into place and clamped as if you're actually building the car so let's just say that was the rocker panel and you take your normal vice grips or clamps go ahead and clamp that into place okay so what i've done and drag you along clamping the panels together like so pretend this is the outer inner and say yeah, this is the floor pan you're going to get everything clamped into place with vice grips throw your screws in there so that's the part we've already done now, i'm going to take every other screw out so i'll keep things in place while you do your spot welding so at this point i'm going to pop these two out and drill them out out now the goal is to drill through all the layers in this case i'm only going to drill through the first layer and then hit our base metal this one i got to drill through one two and then just hit the base metal uh, you don't dig too deep you just get through the top layers and just start to groove the base one whichever way you're drilling so we'll go ahead and do this one here first that's good This one I got to dig through both layers. But the goal is not to drill all the way through. Let me show you what that looks like here. Now you can see, I almost drilled all the way through this layer here. It's really thin, so it's kind of like a tapered or a cone situation. Same as this one here, but it's through all the layers. If you look at this side, you just see, a, of course, a tiny little hole on the back side. But what I'm done, it'll actually look really clean. So. Next thing here, I'll get the welder set up. I'm not actually going to weld it this time. I want you to see what happens here. See the wire? It's actually relatively small to the hole. But what we're going to do, I'm not going to arc as you can see it, but I started about the 12 o'clock position when doing a vertical line weld here. Horizontal is a little different. You can kind of go any way you want, but kind of start close to the base of the circle and just do a little circle. But I know on the vertical face, since gravity seems to be our, our friend or enemy, started about the 12 o'clock. I kind of feed the wire in. The tip's at about a 45 degree angle to that. And I literally just kind of touch it to here and just do a little either, sometimes I'll do a circle depending how deep it is or watching it. Or sometimes I'll just kind of go back and forth, almost like an S. Then it'll actually fill that thing right in. So I wanted you to see how to get that wire fed, but you got to start it like this one here where it's three layers deep. Well, you gotta be a pretty steady hand. You gotta start at the base of the hole there. And if it's four layers deep, it gets a little tricky, but it can be done. But you say, start about the base, 12 o'clock spot, and just kind of work it almost like a little circle and it'll fill right in and it'll lay out real flat. Now I'll go ahead and burn that in place so you can see it. Now 
this one had a little contamination, a little bush right there. But you see how that one laid out looks just like a spot weld? Well, that's the goal here all along. So let me show you the back side here. And it almost looks like a spot weld too. If I can get around there. You look at the back side here. Oh, get you in here. Uh, but see, it actually came through the same on the back side, completely penetrated, but completely flat. Well, I hope you found that tip helpful and useful. And if you did, please subscribe, share with your friends, and continue to watch some more of bringing these old cars back to life. And, of course, got plenty more tips and tricks and stuff heading your way. So please stay tuned, and we'll definitely see you all next time.